Lockheed Martin has a powerful aircraft and one that could give the Carter Air National Guard a much needed boost. Yeah, Kelly Worthman gives us a closer look at from the ring, wings over the Rockies Museum. Fighter planes are a critical part of keeping our country safe, but many of the aircrafts used today are aging. So now it's time for an upgrade, and the new advanced fleet could be based here in Colorado. It's awesome. From the cockpit of a flight simulator, Major Jordan Wilkie can tell this fighter jet is above the rest. I would equate it to trading in your 1980s Ferrari to a brand new one. He's a pilot with the Colorado Air National Guard and is used to flying F-16s, a fighter jet the military's used and modified for decades. It's kind of been gutted on the inside. To replace the aging F-16, Lockheed Martin created the F-35, what they call the world's most advanced fighter. It's equipped with state-of-the-art technology so military pilots can better execute their mission. It provides much more situational awareness for the pilot into the battle space and, and then the surrounding threats. The powerful planes are already taking flight from bases around the world, but Congressman Jason Crow is working to have a fleet at Buckley Air Force Base. The F-35 program supports 1,800 jobs and families uh, in, in our community. Along with the economic benefits, Crow says bringing the fleet to Colorado is vital for our state's military. If we want to ensure the, the sustainability of the Colorado Air National Guard and Buckley Air Force Base, we have to be a part of that next generation of aircraft. It's a phenomenal piece of technology. It could be another six to eight years before the F-35 fleet is here, which is why there's a big push now to help them take off. In Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Fabulous, Kelly. Thank you. Well,